All right, fam, it's time to get comfy. Sit back, relax, get some snacks and drinks because we've got an epic battle in NTW3. This has to be one of the most cinematic and glorious battles I have ever witnessed in this game. And this is going to be one hell of a virtual battle. But you know, that reminds me. Did you know that you're currently in a virtual battle as we speak? And guess what? You're losing that battle. It's a battle between good and evil. And thanks to our sponsor today, NordVPN, they can help you win the war. NordVPN is the greatest VPN you can get on the market. And if you do not have NordVPN, you are losing the virtual internet battle. But the war is not over. Think of NordVPN as the Portuguese, and you are the Otomo clan in feudal Japan. They just handed over the ultimate defense weapon for you to win the war against bad faith actors on the internet. But what exactly is a VPN? Well, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. It creates an encrypted tunnel for your data, protects your online identity by hiding your IP address, and allows you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. Look guys, I'm just gonna be real with you. Privacy is non-existent on the internet. And if you do not have a NordVPN, you are being watched, you are being tracked. And what you buy and what you watch is being noted. It's like you are living in a glass house and the government, greedy corporations and hackers are constantly watching every move you make. Well, with NordVPN, that all goes away. They change your IP and mask your location. It's as easy as clicking a button. So do not wait. It's time to win the war with the ultimate defense weapon. Go to nordvpn.com slash Apollo, which will be linked down in the video description. Use that link and you will get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. It's risk free guys. They have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you, you know, you use it, you don't like it, you will get your money back, but I promise you, you won't need it. You are going to love NordVPN service. And not only does NordVPN protect your privacy, but it also can be used to unlock regionally, you know, locked content. For example, if you want to watch the Canadian Netflix, but you live in the UK, you can connect to a VPN server in Canada, then sign into Netflix to unlock the Canadian Netflix. Maybe they have a movie or a show that uh, the UK Netflix you know, doesn't have. You can use your VPN to unlock regional locked content. It is awesome. It's really cool. So guys, please do not wait. Do not hesitate. They are watching you. They are seeing what you are up to. It doesn't matter if you're up to no good or you're not breaking any laws. It, they're watching you, okay? Whether it be greedy corporations or businesses or whatever, go to nordvpn.com slash Apollo. Get a two-year plan plus the one additional month with a huge discount. And of course, if you do not like the service, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So this is actually... The new update uh, that they released less than a month ago, I think it was like March 23rd, uh, they released uh, 9.2. And we've got this epic Russia versus Ottoman, Ottoman matchup here. So Russia is holding a fort, which just looks absolutely stunning. It looks really good. Uh, and they're going to be attacked by two Ottoman armies and one Persian army, which we can see here. So very cool, uh, very cool factions that we don't get to see too often. So we've got the the one Russian army holding out at this awesome wooded fort, uh, and they do have reinforcements that are on the way. So they are currently marching over with extra troops. You got one here, and then you got one over here 
as well. So I've actually played this battle before, or this bat, this map before, but unfortunately it crashed, and it crashed like every time because I wanted to show this battle so bad uh, because I thought the map looked so awesome. But again, unfortunately it crashed every time. I can never use it. So finally, we have a replay that uh, shows off this awesome map and it's a pretty cool matchup it's uh, you know it's it's not you know your typical France versus coalition it is Russia versus the Ottomans it's going to be exciting and you can see the Ottomans are closing in now we do have a little bit a little bit of a cav charge i think the the Russians had a stealth uh, vanguard unit that was able to deploy outside of the deployment zone uh, they don't really get much done. I don't think they got a lot done there. Maybe they did. I don't think they killed anyone too important for the Ottomans. But the Ottomans, uh, you know, they they hold back that surprise attack. I don't think they've they've lost anything too too important there. And they are now advancing across the the river. And look at this. It's already uh, beginning here. We got some Ottoman rifles, some lights. I don't think they're killing anyone though because. I mean, seriously, you got to do this when you play this game. You got to zoom in as if you're a soldier and check the angle. You got nothing there. Literally nothing. You're, you're just wasting shots. So it's one thing you got to, you know, look out for. Um, but it looks like Russia wants to play. So he's going to move up his uh, line. If That looks so cool. That looks so sick with the with the base in the background and when they came up over the hill. Anyways, they've uh, moved up their units of i believe uh of well it's line infantry um and they are going to try to put the hurt on these ottoman skirmishers and uh, they do get one little volley off uh, the ottomans naturally are going to fall back that's a losing engagement so good job saving lives there as the ottomans now we've got a cab charge though coming out of nowhere from the persians who are going for the russian artillery this is a well-timed strike by the Persians as they wipe out the artillery and the Russians are like ah crap <laughs> I'm sure uh, he could uh, I wish he could take back that I'm sure he wanted his infantry to you know still nearby maybe you shouldn't have pushed them up but the Ottomans have infantry this is cool I've never really seen the Ottomans in this mod but they've got some infantry that are advancing across the river and things are about to get bloody real quick. The Russians do need to reform as quick as possible. And if I'm the Russians, you want to try to delay as long as possible uh, because you're waiting for reinforcements, right? So you might as well, you know, you got to hold on to the fort. So keep as many men alive as long as possible and make this a grueling experience for the Persians and for the Ottomans. So when your reinforcements arrive, uh, they can help you out. And sure enough, naturally, they are going to send uh, some cav first as they are much faster than infantry. And I don't know why I've been saying naturally a lot. I don't That's a new thing for me. So I, I'm going to try to, you know, naturally stop doing that. So <laughs> anyways, uh, the Ottomans are up. Opening fire. And the Russians... Uh, I don't know what kind of Ottoman line unit that is. They kind of look like rabble. But the Russians are going to have a great angle on the enemy here and should be able to uh, do a considerable amount of damage to this Ottoman force. How many units is this? Is it just two? It's just two units of line. Oh, yeah. This is cool. This is a cool... Look at this. Oh, man. And then you got the fort in the background. That is so sick. What a, what a cool map. I am just stunned. I'm just stunned by this mod. Every time I do a, a video on it, I'm just like, wow, this is real. <laughs> like, this is a hell of a game. And anyways, they're going to fall back. We do have some more Russian reinforcements joining the fight. So I guess he's just kind of falling. Oh, that's why he's falling back. The, the Persians do it again, man. Can they form square? It doesn't look like it. The Persians, though, are going to fall back. Uh, the Russians do move quickly there, even though he couldn't form square. Oh, now he's doing it. What? I'm so confused. Or is he not? I don't know. It looked like he was forming square. I guess he can't with this unit. Yeah, I don't think he can. 
Uh, but yeah, he gets some good shots off there. Oh, they're going for the honey. They're going for the honey. They're moving for the artillery, and there they go. That's going to be an easy kill for them. So Russia is doing a... It is not doing a very good job of defending their artillery. Uh, the men on the top here do have artillery, which they're currently loading up. But these are small pieces here. Whoa! <laughs> what was that from? Oh, it must have been from this artillery. Oh, but they broke the cab. Unfortunately, it's too late. They got what they needed done. Oh my, I still seeing flying Ottomans. Flying per, uh, uh, Persians. I almost said Prussians. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's some professional troop. Look at these hats. Yeah, the Persians are moving up. Uh, look, I like the flag, though. Pretty cool. Uh, they're moving up, uh, and I think things are about to get pretty wild here. You can even see the Russians are falling back. You're getting shot in the back. Not a well-timed retreat. Look at these little boots with the uh, tip. They're like uh, the tip at the end of the boots. Looks pretty pretty cool. The detail on this mod is amazing. Oh, no. don't. All right, well, sorry about that, guys. We did have a crash there. Uh, I remember using Bandicam. It was like a software where I would record, you know, I'd use it to record. And whenever the game crashed, the file would be corrupted. And thankfully with OBS, it's not like that. And I don't have to redo, you know, everything I just recorded. Anyways, the Russians are falling back. They're going back into the trenches. You got this lone guy. He's like, wait, away from me. Is he going to make it? Oh, yes, he is. Uh, so the Russians are, um, they're, they're kind of having a tough time here. You can see that the Ottomans are advancing. This is really good, though, because they're kind of shooting at nothing. So uh, this is just them wasting ammo. If I'm the Russians, I'd just stay put. The Ottomans literally have to climb all the way up this hill and get on this, this hill right here and fire down. That's the only way they're going to get direct hits on these Russian on the Russian infantry. So the, the Ottomans need to make a choice here and either be, wait or push forward and get aggressive. We can see that there's already multiple units breaking here. Oh, wow, there's a cab battle back here. My bad. There's a huge cab battle going on. The Russians, I believe this is one of the reinforcement armies, sent in some cab all the way on the flank. I don't know if they got... It was a bit of a surprise attack by the Ottomans. That might be the case. Look at these guys. Look at the shields. So cool. Uh, but yeah, the Ottomans have fantastic cab. And they do a great job of defending this little uh, pathway. That's exactly what they need to do. Now, the Ottomans are still wasting ammo. I really... There's not... You can't even shoot the guys up on the fort from that angle. You see this? You can't see them. You see them? I don't see them. There's no Ottomans there firing. Uh, but there is. And they're shooting nothing. Uh, meanwhile, the Persians are actually falling back. Uh, they had some infantry kind of go directly forward to the the, the fort, uh, but they have decided to fall back. And now we've got some troops just kind of sitting in reserve. I think these guys are going to help the Ottomans once they decide to push. But this is just this is just nothing is happening here except for them wasting ammo. So Russia is winning this engagement on this front. They're doing a good job. Being patient, waiting for the enemy. Don't it, right? What's what does Napoleon say? Don't interrupt your your enemy when he's making a mistake. Paraphrasing there, I'm sure that's not exactly what it is, uh, but that's exactly what he's doing. He's just sitting there shooting. Don't interrupt. He, he's having a good day. It's like he's doing a training. You know, they're they're on the firing range or something. Let's go on the other side though, because we do have some interesting movement here by uh, the Russians. This is another Russian army. Uh, this is the other reinforcement force that is advancing forward. Uh, so, yeah, they are, they've got some cav near the rear of the um, Persian forces. By the way, this is a totem pole right here. So, this is an American, like, 18, War of 1812 ba uh, battlefield that they're playing on. So, that's why you see the totem pole. Uh, but good job by the, um, the Persians here. Kind of watching the rear, opening fire on the Russians. I don't even know if the Russians are paying attention here. They're just kind of getting shot at. So that is a uh, a good deal for the Persians. Good deal for them. Let's go back to the Ottomans. I assume this is both Ottoman armies uh, that are attacking from this angle. And again, still just wasting ammo. 
wasting ammo. If Russia really got bored here, what he could do is wait for him to to for them to volley or use most of their shots, then run up, volley, and fall back. You can kind of crest the hill and, and use that hill, uh, but <laughs> there's really no need. Just let these Ottomans, you know, <laughs> just let them figure it out eventually. Let them figure it out. The more uh, Persian Cav just kind of setting up here, watching the Russian Cav seeing what they're up to it's gonna be really interesting to see what this Russian army does with the Persians it does appear to me that the Persians are, well actually I was gonna say it looks like they're gonna hunker down and hold the rear against the Russians but now they're kind of moving towards their Ottoman allies so I wonder if they're going to give up this this side of the fort and support their allies on one angle of the fort that that might be a possibility but it might not be. This is so cool. Seeing the battle from this angle. Seeing all these troops. Very cool stuff. And we also have some, um, what is this, like mortar? I don't know, I'm not sure what this is. Small cannons here from the Russians. But yeah, there's really, I mean, uh, this is kind of an awkward moment because there's really nothing going on. You have Ottomans firing into the dirt. You have Russians just straight up chilling, you know? I mean, not a single bullet is whizzing by. Now this might become a problem. Again, these rifles, what, I mean, I guess they might have an angle on the troops on top of the roof. But I think they're worried about artillery. They're just afraid to pop their head up. Russians over here still advancing forward their infantry. So I think things are going to get pretty spicy over here soon. Once the Russians kind of get their army, their main force up here, the infantry force up here, and start taking on the, the Persians who are still kind of evacuating the area and going towards their ally. My question is, how long is it going to take for him to realize he's not doing anything constructive? And here we go. Russia has finally moved up some infantry. Poor Russia's probably like, all right, all right. I'll move up some infantry. <laughs> Let's just get, throw him a bone here. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. But Russia's winning. Oh, that was epic. Yeah, Russia is winning. Great volley into this uh, this unit here. They're going to fall back. Ever, everywhere else, though, they are not moving forward. They're not using this hill. And the Ottomans still just... Too stubborn. Too stubborn to stop shooting. Now, if we look at the other Russian army, uh, his infantry has made it over here as well. Uh, he's got a lot of infantry. I mean, this is looking really good for for the Russians. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a counter push from the Russians. Where they actually push back the Ottomans. Uh, we do finally have some artillery firing at the um, Russian position. And he is going for the fort. But by the looks of it, from the craters in this wall... It, it looks like he's hitting it. He's hit the wall a lot, but he's only doing a little bit of damage. Okay, guys. So it looks like we finally have some action here. We've got a Russian charge going into Persian. Uh, per, well, it's a it's a charge of cab between Russia and Persia. It, for a second, it looked like the Persians didn't see it coming, but they counter charge and they're doing a great job. The Russians having to send in more reinforcements. These guys look nasty. Look at them. Look how awesome they are. Heavily armored. Heavily armored cav, and they crushed the Russians. Crushed the Russians. The Russians have another cav unit, but do they dare send them in? Anyways, uh, we see over on this side, the Russia. Oh, okay, okay. Some stuff going on. The Russians are now counter counter pushing so at a, at a I had to edit it out there's a good while of the two forces just kind of doing nothing here 
Uh, so finally, we've got uh, some fireworks going, and the Russians are leaving their trenches and actually taking on uh, the Ottomans, kind of using the high ground against them, which uh, I think it's going to work out nicely for them. So the Ottomans need to make a decision here quick. Uh, well, really, I mean, I don't know. Like, something feels off about this. Like, the Ottoman army just feels like it's they're missing. Like, this can't be it. I mean, look at all the Russians. All these Russian forces. But there's got to be more Ottomans. There's just got to be. There's got to be more Persians, too. But the Persian Cav is just kind of destroying everything in sight. It truly is amazing. They just wiped out multiple, multiple Russian Cav units. And now we have more Russian infantry lining up, getting ready. They definitely need to push. We also have some Cav as well from the Russians. This is a huge unit. Some Dragoons here. 120. Now, I think this Cav unit can deal with the, uh, the Persian Cav. And by the way, did I call the Persians Prussians? I might have. I might have done that. That's a stupid slip up I do all the time. And now we have the Russians holding against the, the uh, Persians in the front of the fort. And I'm really going to... I'm going to take a mental note and make sure I say Persians. Not Prussians. Persians. Persians, Persians, Persians. All right, so the Russians now advancing forward. They're going to get dangerously close. No, they're going to go for a charge. They are absolutely going for a charge against the Persian infantry. And now we have more Persians uh, climbing up the trench as well. They're going to counter charge to try to support their comrades and defeat the Russians. And it looks like that is going to work out. That's huge. That is huge, guys. Why is that so big? Well, okay, hold that hold that thought. It's not over yet. The Russians are now going to reorganize. They send over another unit of infantry. The reason I'm saying that this is so important is because if they can break through this little this like little gap here, they can push up and get flanking fire on all this infantry that are holding these trenches. And that would help the uh, the Ottoman infantry. And now we've got more Ottoman infantry. Whoa, we got ourselves a little bit of a river battle. This is awesome. Look at this unit too. Whew. There's a lot going on in this battle. The Russians over here opening fire as well. There's a lot of Russian line infantry. The Ottomans are going to need support over here. Oh, that was so sick. I love the flash of the guns in this game, man. Oh, they're derping out. There we go. The sprites are like derping out. Oh, dude. So cool. And the Ottomans are losing the stomach to fight. The morale is going back up once, you know, but once they fire again, the morale is going to drop to orange. Yep, there. Oh, it's a red. And more Russia. That's just a cool angle here. More Russians coming down to, to join the fight. A brutal battle for the Ottomans as, oh, they're climbing the hill, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're getting nasty. They're getting wild. The Ottomans are getting their bayonets uh, sharpened. Here we go. Here we go. We got an epic line battle between Russia. This is like the rear guard of Russia showing up uh, around the flank. And then the Persians who are desperately trying to hold them back. Which really stinks for the Ottomans. The Persians can't help the siege assault. Because they're kind of holding back some of the reinforcements. And naturally... Oh, I did it again. I said naturally. And of course, the Russians advance forward. They've got to. They've got to because they need to protect their allies' flank. And here we go. Here we go. The Ottomans have finally made it up most of the hill. And they finally have some angles on some enemies. So cool. Oh, man. The Russians have now established an artillery position up on this hill to open fire down on the Ottoman forces who are currently going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the um, Russian lines. More Ottoman line infantry have arrived on this side. So that is definitely helping their cause because the Russians are now falling back which is smart because they're getting hit from multiple angles they're getting hit uh, from the river imagine being posted this is so cool imagine being posted in the river you know in the river to fire i mean it would be a real pain to not let your gun get wet you know there we go more ottomans opening fire 
You can see there's a lot of Russians stacked up over here. And the four... This is... Look how epic this is, dude. It's so chaotic. So epic. But we can see that the... Oh, is there a cab charge? Oh, yeah. Big cab charge from the Persians going after the Russians. Oh, yeah. Causing a, a, a route. Dude, this is so epic. This is so cool. Look at this. Look at this battle. This battle is legendary. Russian line. This is a nice use of an extra Russian line infantry. Firing at the flank of the, uh, the Persians. And more Russian line infantry advancing forward to this line to try to help them out. We also have some Ottomans coming over as well to aid the uh, Persians in holding back this Russian force. It's finally nice to see more and more of the Ottoman infantry because before it just looked like they had a tiny army. The Russians haven't quite given up all of this hill as they still hold uh, a bit of the high ground. I think they're just trying to keep out of range. We're now kind of maneuvering this unit over here to kind of focus their fire on this Ottoman force that is kind of creeping up on them. There we go. Shots are going to be fired. So they're going to try to soften up these units up on this hill. The troops on the hill doing a good job. They've got the high... Oh, they're just not even going to look at them. Their backs are turned to them. And this is so cool, too. This is a great position here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, dude. What a what a scene. What a scene right here. They've got their units up here. They got troops right below. They're holding the fort. Look at the officers like, we will not give up this fort. I don't know why I gave them a Brit British accent, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. What Hollywood does. Oh, we're making a movie about Imperial Imperial Russia. Oh, let's give them British accents. Okay. That's look at this. Look at this. Hey, look at this officer, saber in hand. As he as he witnesses the battlefield. So great. Ah, oh, the chaos in the background. He's like, men, you will hold. You will hold. No matter what they throw at us. You will stand your ground for Mother Russia. <laughs> so sick. A legendary fort battle. Legendary. That's what I'm going to... I'm going to call this video Legendary Fort Battle. Anyways, they're doing a great job holding here. Uh, right at the base of the fort. Just a fantastic job. The Ottomans are losing heart. The Russians are now closing in over on this side as well. You can see that the Ottomans might break here oh lots of persians down here in the river they've got some cab support i don't know if this is the general i don't think it is or maybe this looks like a general possibly trying to keep its men's spirits high but he looks kind of sad he looks sad yeah it looks like their forces uh, might be on the verge of breaking here. I don't know how many... I, I don't know if they have any reserves, really. The Ottomans are moving troops around. Oh, now we've got a big charge here for, of cab from the Russians. Dragoons going in, trying to clean up some of the Ottoman forces down here um, to give a little bit of a break to the Russian infantry, but more infantry is going to pursue forward. They're kind of, you know, following up the cab charge with infantry. And yeah, they're going to group up here. Oh, man. You can see this this Russian position is is well defended, well defended. And they're going to be holding for uh, quite some time here. And yeah, total total retreat from the Ottomans and the Russians see that. They see the writing on the walls. And they're going to go and push forward and try to wipe out as many retreating Ottomans as possible to end this battle and get a victory for Russia. Okay. 
These Ottomans are... Okay, there they go. Like, these guys aren't retreating. And then the Russians have... Have gained a lot of success over here as well. And you can see the entire... Russian army... Advance forward. My goodness. Look at that. That's so cool. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, there's just something so beautiful about these battlefields. They just feel so real. I can't get over it. Now the Russian army advances forward. And I think what the, the Ottomans are going to go for here is, I, you know, I think they've got some aces up their sleeve. I don't think the Ottomans are done yet. Uh, it definitely feels like it. I mean, this has been a struggle for this fort. But they do have... I, oh yeah, dude! Look at all the troops they have. Look at this. They are they are lying. They, okay, they are lying. I, dude, I know the Ottomans have a lot of troops left, and I think what they're gonna do, I think they're doing the old uh, Houdini here. You know, I think they're all the old the sneaky Houdini, as I want to call this tactic. He's gonna pretend like they're on. They're being defeated. They're gonna pretend like, oh no, you're crushing our forces. We're gonna fall back. By this river and force you to cross the river and slaughter you you know <laughs> that's that's what i feel like the ottomans are doing we'll see what happens with the russians here the russians can't get too aggressive now remember they hold the fort so we'll see what happens but i mean the russian army is still very large and healthy so um we'll see if that changes we got a little bit of a, a intense skirmish going on here we have some uh, artillery unlimbering as they turn these guns to face the Russian infantry. This is huge. This is a nice angle right here. Where the Ottomans could definitely, you know, climb back into this battle and try to close in on this one. Get a, get a nice view. So cool. I do that view for my Ottoman viewers. Or uh, my Turkish viewers, I should say. Turkish people, very proud people. You know, more power to you. I always respect proud people of their nation. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, they are, they're constantly kind of kiting down. You know, they're doing a kiting tactic where they kind of hit and run. Um, but over here, it looks like they're holding. This is so cool. The fight across the river. The fight across the river. I'm just thankful that this battle has not crashed again. And that we're actually going to get a battle on this map. Now, I do, hear, I do hear some yelling. Some screaming. I'm trying to see. Oh, is that the... Is, oh, the Russians. Dude, the Russians snuck... They're sneaky. They pulled, they pulled their own Houdini. They're sneaking over units across the river. But they're going to... Oh, dude. They're getting... Oh, they formed square, though. I mean, this cab unit still does a lot of damage to them. And I think they're still going to break them. We'll see. Yeah, they broke. Man, this cab unit is a monster unit for the Persians. Monster unit. We got another Persian unit over here. Russian unit kind of keeping them away. Yeah, these guys look sick. I just love how they have all white horses. And they're wearing dark uniforms. It just looks really fresh. And you can see how this battle is now playing out as we get a bird's eye view. This is so cool. The river battle. The Ottomans versus the Russians. Uh, the Persians in there as well. Uh, just having a good old firefight. Now we are seeing some progress here from the Ottomans. As they fight in this tall grass, they are putting holes in the Russian army. But will it be enough? And you can see that the Ottomans have claimed dominance over here as well. As the Russians are now having to fall back up to the top of the hill and reorganize. And we'll go back to this firefight over here. 
as the uh, Ottomans and Prussians. Oh my God, not Persians. The Persians, the Persians. Ah, I always do that, dude. I'm the worst. Here's some Persians. The man of the peak. So they're busy shooting at each other right here. This is going to be a bit of a grinder between these two forces. God, look at this legendary battlefield. Get a helicopter view. Ooh, good artillery. Ooh, Russia has their artillery. They, well, they've been here, but they're getting some good hits here. So here we go. Oh, you're going to fire? Looks like he was kind of closing his ears. Do you have a shot ready? Let's see what he can get done here. I mean, this is such a solid position because it's downhill. I mean, you're going to be hitting people with like full, the full power. Gravity on your side as this thing fires downhill. Come on, fire. Well, the artillery is lumbering back up for the Ottomans. So we might see the Ottomans retreat from this position. I mean, I get it. They've they've kind of controlled most of what they could. Because, like, I mean, obviously, they're not going to charge the hill. And the Russians are playing this smart and just staying up on the hill. So, let's go to the other side. Let's see how this is going. So, as I, as I continue to watch this firefight, I feel like the Russians are losing this. Because every time I look over here, it seems like somebody's near breaking or breaking for the Russians. Some good firefights here. The Persians are close to uh, breaking as well. I, I think the Persians have lost a lot in this battle so far, but we'll see how they hold up. It's hard to tell because I don't really know how many troops they have. Because this is the Russian perspective. Here's the birds. Look how high up we can go. What the heck? This is so cool. I knew it, guys. I knew it. The Russians are calling it quits. They're calling it quits. They're losing the line battle near the river and they're going to fall back. Now, I don't know if the Russians had less money in this battle because they do have the fort which by the way has been destroyed um but yeah i don't i just don't know if the russians just have less money and maybe that's why they're they're losing or how would you make this fair right because the russians have the fort but they are gonna they're gonna fall back and reorganize because they just don't have the manpower to deal with this massive persian slash ottoman line more oh dude these cannons are huge doing crazy amounts of damage and now guys what we're gonna have to wait on is for the ottomans to make a push well here comes our push the ottomans are pushing and the it was actually the uh, persians that pushed forward first so they've crossed the river once again oh look at the russians up on this hill March! Oh, man. Don't drop that flag. Pick up the standard. They keep dropping it and picking it up. What the heck? Oh, dude. So cool. So, yeah. They're, they're up here firing down. We've got, what? Four units. Taking on one? Is this one unit? Now, the Persians are hiding in the trees here. You can't see them. They're currently hidden. But they have pushed forward with their entire force. So I'm sure you're going to see them advance anytime soon. We have taken a building. Russian artillery using their mortars, howitzers or something. Just trying to soften up the Ottoman position. What do we got here? Oh, do we have a cab charge? The Ottomans moving up with a cab charge. And the infantry has... Is this the general? Look at the general. He's like, I want a good... I need a good look of the battle. But they've set up this epic line. Oh, man. Oh, look. Just look at this. 
Look at this scene. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so cool. You got the fort here. You got the men marching, the troops standing in front of the fort. Like, we must prepare the defenses. So we'll see if they can do it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the Persians. They are advancing forward. And... Is this a cav charge? Oh, the Ottoman cav all the way back here. I think they were trying to go for the Russian artillery. And they're doing it, guys. They are doing it. They took out not only the artillery, but they also took out enemy cav or Russian cav. And there we go. They finally break, which no surprise. I don't even know how they made it that far. Oh, this is a nice angle right here from the Persians. Yeah, Russia definitely needs to fall back from this angle. Good hits there. Artillery still stationed over here for the Russians. Just trying to uh, literally like push back the Ottomans from even thinking about advancing up this hill. Man, the Persians, dude. Uh, oh, oh. We got some Ottoman cav over on this side. Let's see if they go for it. What What are they going to go for? Are they, is there artillery? There's really... I don't really see any high... High value targets that this cab can go for. So, yeah, not surprised here that they're going to be falling back. Maybe they just couldn't see and they were kind of scouting up ahead. You got classic, classic Ottoman hat here. The big old donut dome. Classic piece there. A nice push. Look at this. The Russians, dude. They are preparing the inner defenses of the fort. Oh, this is going to be one hell of a finale, guys. This might be a bloodbath inside the fort. If if the Ottomans and Persians can actually get in and do some damage, this is going to be a lot of fun. So they're still opening fire, still, and it's tough. The Russians are really using this trench as best they can. Look at them, they're like, bayonets ready. They can see their flag in the distance, they're like, they're right over this hill. Get ready, men. Oh, man, they're gonna charge at any moment. Oh, but the Russians are advancing. They're advancing forward some units here. They're doing everything. So they have like a multi-layered defense. They're doing everything they can. Are they gonna charge? Is this a huge charge? Dude, like every shot of this battle just feels like like um, a painting. Wow, they are getting uh, stupidly close. They are going to break so fast if they stay like that. Oh, and here comes a huge Ottoman force as well. I think they're getting ready to charge this, this fort. They've got to break through the Russian infantry here, though. There's still a decent amount that are holding the outside, the, the outer perimeter of the fort. Some of these guys are starting to break. They're like, advance up this hill. Fire. <laughs> I don't think they're going to hold on much longer. Hold the trenches. This is a cool battle. Very cool battle. Alright, now we have... Ooh, they broke the Ottomans over here. Again, no surprise there. Their positioning was not great. But more Ottomans are here to take their spot. And over on this side, we have some Cav moving in. Getting some revenge on the artillery that was stationed up on this hill. What a saga. And so concludes the artillery for this uh, 
this artillery piece, this position. Now if we zoom out, you can see where the battle lines have been drawn. Oh yeah, is this a cap charge? Oh yes, very nice. Going for the infantry, trying to break them quickly so they can make their advance in the fort. Now they're pushing forward as well. The Persians moving in their infantry with bayonets. There we go. They're trying to overwhelm them. The Russians are going to counter charge the Persians. Yes. There they go. Nice counter charge. Here comes a counter charge of the counter charge. The Persian Cav moving in, trying to mass break. You got artillery smacking into the ground. They're trying to take this position. The Russians are reforming, but it looks like the Russians have held. They've held for so long and they're gonna continue to hold. They're not giving up on this like trench area outside the fort. But over in the front here, this definitely looks worrisome for the, the Russians. The Persians are doing a great job of just constantly hitting this front side of the fort. Are they gonna try to go in the fort? Can they go in? Are these like, just like made up? Is this make-believe uh, gate? Okay, no, it works, okay. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was just like cosmetic or something and they could just run through it. But yeah, they're gonna send in more and more forces. Oh, this is gonna be like epic Al Alamo style here. Let's go. This is gonna be cool. And here we go, more Ottomans pushing forward. Solid units here. Advancing on their position. Uh, once again, the Ottomans are making the same mistake, firing their shots into the hill. Not good. And there's about 20 minutes left of this timer. Hopefully they hold fire. I think what the Ottomans need to do here is just like mass, not mass charge, but like mass move up. Like, move everybody up and just fire down on this Russian force. Prevent them from going in the fort. But I think it's too late. I think they already are going in the fort. Oh, man. How is this one going to play out? This is tricky. This is tricky. It, there's no balance of power, so it's hard to tell who's winning this battle. It's hard to tell how many Ottomans are left and Persians. Still wasting ammo on the hill. Yeah, just get all your guys up there. Just get them up there. Take control of this fort. And here we go. More Ottomans are, are climbing up here. These are pretty depleted units, but they, he does have units climbing up here. I think pretty soon... I think... I think this is yeah you can charge through, look how, look how crazy like imagine being a soldier and charging through this this chaos and then boom <laughs> a cannon waits for you <laughs> oh man that will be interesting it does appear that they are firing at the troops up on the wall but eh. I feel like most shots aren't really going to hit them there. All right, here we go. Here we go. The Ottomans are making a move here. They're making money moves. Cringe. Uh, the Ottomans have moved up some infantry that are, it looks like two units that are going to try to flank the Russian position. Now, keep in mind, guys, if we zoom out, the Russian position is more around this corner. They're kind of using the walls of this fort to kind of help them hold here. Ooh, and the cannon, look at this, the cannon's like point-blank firing into this Ottoman line. 
but hopefully they can hold here put some pressure on the russians more of this infantry there we go more of the infantry is advancing forward they need to take control that's i mean obviously that's the first goal right take control of everything outside of the fort and then deal with the inside of the fort is he going for a bayonet charge no what are you doing what are you doing you should have just charged them in they broke Fight. Fight for the outskirts. It's just this is a painting, dude. This is Age of Revolution painting. Now we got Cav moving in as well. They oh wow, huge break right there on the Ottomans. Good use of the Cav and infantry to break that line. The Ottomans need to regroup here. And, oh my god, that guy went flying. Unfortunately, I think that was friendly fire too. So the Russians accidentally killing their own there. The Ottomans are now concentrating their fire on units on the walls, units inside the fort. More infantry advancing forward. And you can see on the minimap, it's all coming down to here. Like this is what it's all going to come down to. And there's, a, there's still a ton of Ottomans. And here comes another charge, guys. The Russians are just going all in. Cav support too. Oh, this might be enough. It, this might be enough to break this entire Ottoman line. The Ottomans counter charge. They're trying to maintain their lines here. They can't... They, this, the Russians can't push them back. Now the Ottomans are... Holy crap. Now they're sending in their cav. What a battle. What a battle right there. Now the Russians, oh, the Russians are sallying out units from the fort. They have found their courage. Look at these, look at these hats. And a massive, massive charge from both sides lead to chaos. Ottomans going in with Cav, trying to break some infantry while the Russians are busy looking elsewhere. Same thing over here. Another cow. It's an uphill charge, but it still might be effective. Wow. Wow. Massive break from the Ottomans. I don't know, guys. That might be the deal breaker right there. I think that might be it. I think the Russians. What a fight. What an absolute legendary fight here. So crazy. The fort is just turned to bits. They held on. Glorious. Just it's just such a cinematic battle. I mean, having that fort in the background they were fighting for. So good. Uh, but it's not over. It's not over. The Ottomans still have. Well, it's, it's going to be a tough fight for sure. But they still have some units that they can move up. They can finish off the Russians out here, which it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to clean up these Russians. But even if they clean up these troops out here, I just don't think they're going to have enough to clean out all the troops in here. Look at this defense. 
It's like they're in this fort for a ceremony. No, they're in here to defend it. They got artillery firing too. This guy might want to look out. He's kind of right in the way of the artillery. So there you have it, guys. They have defeated the Russians. Now what they have to do is make their push. And we're going to see how this plays out. All right. The Ottomans have finally given the order. They go for a charge. Oh, my God. That's awesome. And they might actually get this artillery. Let's see. Uh, they're on the verge of cracking. That's a good move to send in the cab first. They're faster moving. You know, they can disrupt the line infantry. And then you could follow it up with uh, your own line infantry. But these guys are, I assume they're so tired. And that cab is breaking. The Russians can easily reform, which they do. As they hold this fort against the uh, Ottoman, I assume, invasion. So it doesn't look like he is going to charge. It looks like he's going to hold here and fire. But this is suicide because, I mean, I, I just don't think the Ottomans have enough to win. You see how this cannon's going to chew them up? I mean, it's got the perfect angle. Look at that. It's like a little to the right. Just perfect. So they got to load it up. But yeah, when this thing hits, this unit's going to break. Imagine standing here and just seeing a cannon like being loaded. Aimed directly at you very short distance relatively speaking for a cannon yeah not not good not good and then you got units over here just kind of opening fire trying to kill the troops on top of the roof which they're not even really firing back other than the uh the cannons that they're loading up but I just, you know, looking at what's left of the Ottomans, I just don't see them taking the fort. I just don't think they have enough. All right, another section of the fort has been destroyed. And they're going to go in with Cav and try to get them by surprise. Look at this lone soldier. He's like, I'm going in alone. Let's go. Guys? Guys? <laughs> that was perfect. He, like, looked around right when it was like, guys? Hey, guys, you gonna join? He's like, yeah, Frank, let's go. A nice surprise charge there. Oh, dude, you got these guys up here. Are they gonna open fire? It looks like they're trying, but instead doing the truffle shuffle. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, the, the troops on the walls are having a tough time firing. Now's the time to full on charge. Like, just charge these guys. Melee mode. Let's go. Send them in. Yeah, that was a, I mean, this is a decent cab charge, but I just feel like he's not, he's not making the best, making the most out of it. Like, he needs to send in infantry with the cab. Just, like, overwhelm the Russians while they're busy, unorganized. Like, they're not properly formed up. Looks like they did charge over on this side. But they are now breaking. So we kind of missed that. Looks like this cab might defeat this Russian unit. Yeah, they do. But there we go. Now they're firing. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Firing. Oh, dude. Walls are so deadly. I mean, how often do you get to see an NTW3 fort battle? Not often. And now we have the entire force going in for a charge. There's only three minutes left in this battle. So the attackers have to make a move here. And can the Ottomans do it? I don't know. They might be able to. Looking at these numbers. Dude, what? Where did these guys come from? Dude, the Ottomans have a ton of forces. What? They might actually take this. No way. No way. Dude, I'm shocked. Where have the, the Ottomans literally been hiding these troops for so long? 
But it's almost like too long. There's only three minutes left. They got to get in there. Charge, charge, charge. Look at the chaos, the mess of all these troops. Now they're finally charging in. The Russians are like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, not only do they have to... I kind of like the fact... I like this move now. At first I was like, why would he do this? It's a waste of time. But I like how he's got his, his units kind of keeping the troops on the walls busy. Because I don't know if the Russians have enough here to hold this fort. It's a madhouse. It's a madhouse. Russians, you gotta get firing. The Ottomans need to hurry up. They only have two minutes. Dude, they waited too long. They should have done this like a good three minutes ago. They are just pouring. Where did these guys come from? I had no idea the Ottomans still had so many troops. I think they did that on purpose. I think they purposely made it look like they didn't have a huge force. And look at the chaos here. Now the general's dismounted. He's like, lads, this is it. There's no... There's no escaping this. Yes, there is. There's a gate on the other side. It's like, no, no, no. And here comes a counter charge by Russian forces. Dude, look at the chaos of this battle. I don't really need to say anything here. I'll let the game speak for itself. My goodness lots of breaking happening I'm just trying to see if there's any like hidden Russian units that might appear it would be pretty sweet to have one cabinet just show up and just break this entire force it does look like the Russians are going to hold regardless of the time yeah that's a mass break if I ever saw one what a defense the Russians are like you know, we got them in, we got them in, uh, Vermopoli style here. The Persians are like, no, not again. <laughs> Dude, what a fight. So there you have it, guys. Unfortunately, um, it's not showing the results, but, uh, I have them right here. So there you go. This is, uh, an image that was taken by the person who sent this in. This was sent in by Piper. I want to give him a big thank you for sending in this battle. This was epic. This is what I'm looking for in a battle replay. Uniqueness, epicness. This was cool. Down to the wire too. The Ottomans really pulled a Houdini on me multiple times. I thought their army was a lot weaker at the end of this video, but that it was strong. It just they just I think they waited too long to do their mass attack and they should have like concentrated a lot of forces over. I don't know. It's just tough. It's a tough it's tough attacking this fort. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was an absolute blast. And I will see you next time on the battlefield.